Now I know you know that I wasn't just gonna win the prize and not like show you guys what I got. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's take a look. Right now I have it like set up a certain way, but that's pretty much how it, I mean, that's not how it came. It came wrapped up in like bubble wrap and it came pretty much all together. Um, and like stuff that would break was stuck with other things that would break. So like, for instance, the eyeshadow palettes or with the eyeshadow palettes wrapped in bubble wrap safely. Um, so if you guys don't know this already, I was the winner of hashtag 24 days of giveaway for Wet n Wild. Um, I actually won the 24th day. It was really cool because I actually woke up the next morning after Christmas and they were just like, hey, congratulations, you're the winner. And I was like, oh my God, like I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to think. Um, but before I start showing you guys all this stuff, I don't want you guys, to, well, I mean, typical, you guys know the drill. I don't want this to come off as bragging in any way, shape, or form. I am simply just a makeup lover. I am a wild one, I'm a makeup junkie. So yes, I do have a lot of makeup, but this makeup is not gonna not get used. And if it's not gonna get used, I will either give it away or I will give it to like a family member. Um, but yeah, so I'm so happy that I won this. Um, this is not bragging at all. I wanna show you guys some of the cool stuff that I got and this whole look that I achieved um, was pretty much based on a lot of the products that I had in here. Um, besides that, like, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in gold, like, medium beige, gold beige. Um, what else? Oh, I used the Wet n Wild, um, contouring stick in, I want to say it's light. It's, like, f very, very, like, gray-toned. It is a contour stick and a highlighting stick in one. Um, I'll actually show you guys that real quick. Give me a second. Okay, so I didn't win this, but I figured I would show you guys just so that way you guys can like know how to achieve this look if you guys want to. And so this is going to be, or this is the foundation. And so this is going to be, or this is the foundation. And so... This is going to be, or this is the foundation. Oh my god. So this is the foundation I used. It is the Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. Um, if you guys have not tried this yet, you should definitely pick it up. Where I'm at, the grocery store that I went to, um, it's like a drugstore slash grocery store, whatever. Anyways, it's called H-E-B, and I was able to get mine for $5.99, so it's a really good um, foundation. It was tested under seven different lights, so that way you're not going to like be white-casted. I know that I might seem a little bit more white than normal right now, but it's because I'm under like three different like white lights, and then I have like my yellowish light trying to like balance everything out, so I hope it looks good. And then this is the Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. It's a highlighter and contour stick. So this one's actually in medium tan. I was lying to you guys. It's not fair. But that's what the contour looks like. And I'm going to swatch this for you so that you can see. Just so you guys know, I did not win this, but it is a really good product. So this is the contour shade. And then this is the highlighting shade, which I just used as concealer today. It is bomb. Like, this stuff is bomb, and it blends out like a dream. So, on to the package. Starting out... I received four mascaras, um, and I'm not going to open these like just yet. I'm going to actually save them because I know that I can use them a little bit more around Halloween, but I don't. I can't like promise you that. I know I'm probably going to end up opening them like in June, but this is Glamethyst Rock. It is a purple shade of mascara. This one is Unbreakable Bronze. It is a brown tone mascara. This is green as a thistle, and this one is a green tone mascara. These are also called the Lush Lash, which is funny because I work at Lush. Um, and then this is Sapphire Night Live, and this one is just a very pretty, like, cobalt blue. I haven't tried them on my eyes yet, so I don't know how those work, but once I do, I'll let you guys know. So the next um, couple of items I'm going to show you, 
there's a lot of them, so I just wanted to knock them out and get them out of the way. Oh, also, by the way, um, there's going to be, like, a video playing of the products that I'm showing you, um, because I'm going to swatch them. So, I'm just going to show you the little clip, and then I'm going to show you, like, me doing it. So, it's, like, video inside video. Anyways. So, I pretty much got the whole Boom Pop collection, um, and pretty much it's just, like, the comic book hero collection. It's really, really cool. So I got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Candy Gloss Nail Tint. This one is in the shade Edie and Pink. So these are just going to be like little glosses. They're not going to be full on colors, but they're still pretty nonetheless. And I'm pretty sure if you build them up, you can get a full color. This one is Floral Support. It is a coral-ish, coral-ish orange color. This one is like a pinkish magenta. This one is one grape or another, and this one is solid, like, purple grape. It's really pretty. And then the last one is going to be a case of blue, and this one is a pretty cobalt blue. I'm wearing one of the nail polishes on my nails right now. Ignore this one. I was doing an accent nail, and it went wrong. It went south real quick. The uh, color icon collection, I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, I got the lashes to match, well, not to match, but lashes with... It goes with this. So this is what it looks like. Also, if you guys don't know this, they actually improve their brushes. It's going to tell you that on the top. So they're not the little, like, weak brushes. They're actually the full on. I'll show you. They're the bigger brushes. And I don't know if you guys like these brushes, but I'm a fan of these brushes. Just because I'm a guy and I have, like, a bigger nail, it covers more area, surface area faster. So this one is in Studio Glitter and Gold. I got this one in Are You Free to Dance? And this one is pretty much just like a translucent, um, holographic, glittery shade. This one has like pink and blue reflex in it. It's so pretty. But this is just like a nail topper, I would say, because it's not really going to give you any color, even if you try to build it up. This is the one that I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's called I Dream of Jean... Jane Genie, or... Jean Genie. I don't know. I'm screwing it up. I'm sorry. But it's this really pretty like gray with gold reflex in it. I'm pretty sure you can't tell. But it is stunning and it is a limited or all of these ones that I showed you um, so far a limited edition. And then the last one is going to be Ninja Lovelace. This one is a brown tone with a gold reflect. And this one is really really pretty. Um, same thing, they all have the same brush, even the Boom Pop collection, or I hope that's the collection, I'm not like butchering that. Okay, so these ones are actually the ones that they, I'm pretty sure they carry year round. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Salon Nail Color. So this one is, again, they improve the brushes with this one, but these ones aren't limited edition. So this one is Cherry Blossom on top. It is a neon pink. Along with that, I got... Leave Me Be. This one is an electric green and I love this color, but right now I'm feeling the dark tones, so I'm going to wait till spring before I jump into that. Same thing with this one. This one is called Wild Wild Violet and this one is an electric purple or an electric lilac. It's really, really stunning. This one is the only one I'm curious. Okay, no. So I'm pretty sure they just didn't put the sticker on top because all the other ones have a sticker saying that they changed the brush and this one is the last one this one is called pop poppy culture and this one is an orangish red toned nail polish and it's so pretty 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 i'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the way these are the pow pop boom collection and i got the two that they had that were a part of the collection this one is in the mood for mod or mode no, I'm pretty sure it's mod. And then this one is Lash the Reed. And this one is just a, like, fluttery-esque lash. And this one's more of, like, a, uh, how can I say this? This one's more of, like, a statement lash. This is one that you would do with, like, crazy colors or, I mean, if it's just your style, then you could do these year-round. I don't know if they have these still. Um, I actually have another one of these, so I'm going to hold on to this one. And I'm going to keep using the ones that I'm using. 
I just didn't really want to touch them yet because they were part of a collection. So, by the way guys, I really do love Wet n Wild. I'm not just like all about it because I got this stuff. I've actually been a fan since I was like younger and I was barely getting into makeup because it's so affordable and it's a drugstore that it was one of the first brands I was able to get and use and grow with the company, I guess you could say. So, moving on. These are the limited edition um, Color Icon Faux Lashes. These ones are really, really cool. And the reason that they're really, really cool is because they have, like, gold accents on them. So, this one, I don't know if you can see this, but this one is called That's the Way I Like. That's the Way I Like It. And this one, it pretty much just has a gold band on the center of the lash. And then this one is going to be Disco Baller Status. And this one just has like three gems on the sides of them. This one is another one that you could like wear on the daily. It's really pretty. You might be able to take off the gems if you're not into it, but they're still pretty lashes. Okay. Moving on to my favorite part of this, once I got these, like this is the main thing I was looking forward to, um, and I thought I was only going to get one, but apparently I got, or two, and I got four total. So I have the highlighters. Um, I've been searching and searching and searching for these highlighters, and I could not find them here at my Walgreens, because that's normally who carries them. So this one is the Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar, and this one is one of the ones that I'm going to be swatching for you guys. So didn't know this but the cool thing about this is it comes with a mirror and you can you can like slide it out so it helps you on the go I don't want to blind you but that comes to me so yeah this one is in the shade holly goldhead and this one is a limited edition one too so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna swatch it this way in my arm look at that it is so pretty these two i heard um jeffree star raving about and i wanted them so bad as soon as i saw them drop before jeffree star mentioned them before i saw them drop i was like i want them i need to have them and i the time that i went to walgreens they were actually out so somebody had pretty much just bought all of them so this one is in Precious Petals. It is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one I know. I've seen it on the website. They sell these. So I'm pretty sure you can still get your hands on this. So like I said, this one is in uh, Precious Petals. And this one is a kind of like a goldish tone. This one I would say is more for the fair girls and boys. But this one's a little bit more gold than this one is. And then this one is in the shade Crown of My canopy and this one too i've seen on the website this one is a more pinky toned highlighter so i would say if you have like pinky undertones this one would be really really pretty on you so this one that was a shitty swatch i'm so sorry but these are so soft and they slide on so well but there you go you can see it's kind of a more so like a rose-ish gold highlighter it's so pretty and then the last one, I actually have, I want to say there's three of them. Um, so this is the one that I was missing. The only one that I was missing, and I got this from CVS. Well, not this one, but when I bought the collection, or most of the collection, I got them from CVS. And I was able to get, I think it was like spend 15 get $5 back. And I was able to buy, if you don't go to CVS or anything like that, I would say definitely go. Because you can buy makeup and then get cash back to use for... A foundation or an eyeshadow palette or whatever you want to try it's really really cool and it's a really really cool way to get money back for spending your money so this one is in the shade sun ceremony it is a geometric highlighting powder it comes with the brush that just fell I'm so sorry about it but that's what it's gonna look like so pretty much what you do with this is you swirl it around and you would get your desired pigment Try not to double swatch. This one is a little bit more on the chalky side. I'm just being real with you guys because I'm not going to like be fake with any of this stuff. This one is a little bit more on the chalky side. But if you are fair, it's going to look really, really pretty and icy toned on you. Um, and it's a little bit more on the golder side. But because if you're fair, you'll be able to see it a little bit more than if you were like my skin tone or deeper. So the next things that I had got was alongside with the Mega Glow 
um, highlighters. These are the Mega Glow Sticks. These are so pretty. I only wanted one of these when I saw them, like, they were going to drop in stores. Um, and I never got the chance to get them, so I'm finally, I finally have them, and I'm so excited. It's pretty much what gave me my leg glow today. I did this, and I topped it with, um, Precious Petals. But, this one is in the shade Marty, Mari Gold, Mary Gold Round. I think it's Mary Gold Round, or it's Mari Gold Round. Um, but this one is just a really pretty, like... That is a shitty swatch. I'm gonna do it over here. This one is more on the lighter side, but it's more of an intense, like, silvery toned highlighter. The other two, I'm assuming you could use as blush, but if you wanted to use them as, like, a blush topper to go on top of, like, creating a highlight, so you'd put your blush on and then put this on top, and it would kind of, like, blend in with your blush. This one is in Light Up My Hibiscus. And this one is another pinky tone one. This one would go really, really good with this powder. Um, which one was this one? Crown of My Company. That's the one that it would go perfect with. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then the last one, I don't know how to feel about this one. But this one is Carnational Anthem. And it is a peachy, orangey tone highlighter stick. This one actually, I think it's this one. No, it's not. It's actually this one that fell apart on me. But it's alright. I put it back in the tube. Um, so this one is, this is what this looks like. It's really orange toned, so I'm pretty much sure, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to use this as like a blush on its own. Um, or like a blush base, and then pack on more powder, just so that way it stays longer throughout the day. But they're so pretty, and I don't know if they still have them on the website, but you can definitely check them out. Um, also I'm going to put in the link to Wet n Wild if you've never shopped there before or if you're just like curious to see like what they were giving away or if you're just new to makeup and you don't know anything about Wet n Wild I'll put them down below um I figured showing you guys swatches would help so that way you can see exactly what you're paying for okay so the next thing that I got was these two eyeshadow palettes and I'm pretty sure that they sell oh wait hold up just kidding these are actually both limited edition the sticker says it. Um, but this one is Velour Vixen and this one, or this one is Velour Vixen and then this one is Played, or Plaid's Bone, my bad, just kidding, can't talk, can't speak, can't spell either. Um, and these are the Color Icon Eyeshadow Trios. If you guys follow Wet n Wild, um, on YouTube, you would have seen that they actually got I Love Saudi to do a makeup look with this palette and I was able to create this with this palette and one or er, the highlighting stick in Mary Gold Round and then the precious petals so that's what this is going on so I'm gonna do a little swatchy swatch for you so this is what they say goes on the brow bone it's just a like skin tone color. This one is the crease shade and this one is like a burgundy reddish shadow. This one has a little bit of like a shimmer to it but it's nothing too crazy. Um, this one is actually the shimmer and this one is the one they say goes on the eyelid and this is like a purple with a pink glitter undertone to it and it's so pretty. But out of both of these I would have to say that I like the play, uh, plaid to the bone just because the colors are unique and they're so pretty. So this is the brow bone shade which I don't I don't think I would put on my brow bone but it's really pretty. It's just like a honestly if I was like a deeper skin tone I'd probably wear this as a highlight. But this one is just like a shimmer silver silver brownish shade. The crease color is a deep navy, and this one is really pretty, especially with the way that it comes off. And then the last shade that goes on the eyelid is a duochrome, and it's kind of like a bluish green with an orange undertone to it. 
I try to like keep my arm clean because we're about to go in through some lipstick swatches. So these are the Wet n Wild Matte Liquid Lipsticks. They're the Color Icon Collection and I'm pretty sure you can still get your hands on these. This one, or actually one of the problems that I had with mine is that two of them came nameless. So I don't know if it's just because they don't have names on them or if they were just like the first ones to be like their first run at them. Um, but I'm still going to swatch them for you guys. This one is a reddish, like a blue undertoned red. But they're really, really pretty. They're really comfortable. This is what I'm, no, I'm not wearing this exact color. But I'm wearing one of them on my lips topped with a lip gloss. And I'll show you both of those are from this gift set, giveaway gift set thing. And then this one is a brownish purple tone, but it's more of like a deep um, purple, if I'm to be real, and like, you can tell based off that swatch that it's a deeper shade. And then the other two that I got were actually, they came with names, so this one is Don't Be a Plum Plum, and this is the one that I'm wearing on my lips, it is a lighter purple, kind of like a fuchsia-esque purple, it's really, really pretty, it literally looks like the skin of a plum. And then this one is Two Tulip to Quit. And this one is a, like a darker pink shade. Kind of like a darker magenta. Magenta. And that's what that one looks like. It's really, really pretty. And these ones, they don't really have a smell to them. Like, I wouldn't say that they smell like weird or anything. But they kind of smell like the foundation. If you have this, that's what they smell like. So now, what I'm going to go through is the metallic liquid lipsticks. I'm so sorry that in the little clip I forgot to show this one. And so since I forgot to show it, we're going to make it the star of the show. This one is in the shade Indigo Your Own Way. And this one is just a purplish lilac shade with just like it's a shimmer. It's a metallic liquid lipstick. And honestly, these don't dry down to any kind of like matteness. They're just a liquid lipstick. So it's not going to like completely dry on your lips. So if you're somebody who doesn't like like sticky feelings, you're not going to like these. And I'm pretty sure you can still get these on the website. Um, but like I said, it'll be in the description bar below. So you can check them out. This one is in the shade Coming Up Roses, and this one is a reddish pink tone. And this one has kind of like a blue undertone of glitters to it. That's what that one looks like. It's really pretty. This next one is called Days of Fuchsia's Past. This is just a fuchsia pink color. It's really, really neon. And that is what that looks like. It's like a bubblegum pink. The next shade is called My Two Lips Are Sealed. And this one is a nudish gold undertoned shimmer liquid lipstick. And this one's really pretty. If you like nudes or like you just, you're just like trying out a liquid lipstick... I would definitely say go with this one because it's nothing too crazy and it's not that pigmented. So even if you don't like it as a lipstick, you can always use it as a lip gloss or like a lip topper. So you could put like a lipstick, like a MAC lipstick underneath and then just top it off with this shade. This next one is called Chrysanthemums The World and this one is again kind of like the... Days of Fuchsia's Past, it's a little bit more of a toned down pink. And this one has a little bit more orangey tones as to where this one's a little bit more cool toned. Just in comparison, so that way you guys know. And this one I would say is more of like a... Hmm. I would say it's like a bubblegum pink too. This one's just going to be a little bit more on the cooler toned. So it's going to be a little bit lighter. And this one's going to be a little bit more darker. It's on the warmer tone. 
And then the last one that I have is Piani Express. This one is similar to My Tulips Are Sealed. But this one is My Tulips Are Sealed and this one is the Piani Express. You can tell that this one is a little bit more pink toned. As to where this one's a little bit more orange toned. So I'm going to swatch this last one for you guys. And this is what it looks like. It's just like a soft nude color alongside with um, my two lips are sealed. If you're just trying out or you just want to try out one, I would go with this one too. This one is, um, I forgot to talk to you guys about the wand, but this is actually cool. It's kind of like the Jeffree Star. Okay, first of all, this is kind of like the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick packaging. But the actual lipstick um, wand is shaped like the Jeffree Star lipstick wand. It's got that little like dent in it, so it curves to your lips, which makes it a whole lot easier for you to draw in your space. Okay, so I just want to show you guys exactly what it looks like when you try to take off the liquid, the matte liquid lipsticks. They like really stain your lips. They don't want to go anywhere, which is really, really cool because for a drugstore liquid lipstick, um, like my um, NYX lip lingeries, they don't even stay this long just being truthful these are actually worth the money so the next part of the box I'm gonna show you guys is I got the color icon lip gloss lip glosses because I'm pretty sure I got the full collection this is one of them this one is in the shade the loco potion loco And this wand is really, really cool because it's that double-sided wand, kind of like the Liquid Suede if you use NYX products. Um, it just makes it easier to f like just glide along while well, one swipe and then you're done. So I'm going to do this on my hand so that way you can see. And this one is pretty much just an orangey-esque lip gloss with a pink glitter undertone. Perfect. Okay, so... The next one that I'm going to show you guys is another one that I got. It's called Boogie White Lights. And the cool thing about this one is it looks white. But this one is just a white um, with blue re reflex in it. And it's really, really pretty too. I'm saying it's really, really pretty. I'm saying it's really, really pretty to all of these. But I'm being truthful. This one, underneath this light, it looks kind of lilac. But underneath like the sun, it's just blue undertoned. And you can see that one. Thank you, this is really helping me. The third to the last, I was lost. Third to the last is Ring My Bell Bottoms. This name is funny. And this one is just a gold with gold reflex in it. It is this one right here. This one kind of looks silver. Last one is called Moxie Brown. And this one is just like a deeper rich gold with the same like gold reflex in it. And this one's just going to be a little bit darker. It's actually really pretty. Of course, I'm probably going to end up keeping all these lipsticks just because I touched them and I swatched them. But like I would honestly give them to my mom if they don't work out. And this one is that one right there. It's pretty. These ones are the Color Icon Pop Boom Collection. I don't know what to call it because it doesn't really have anything. They're pretty much all Color Icon. So this one is in the shade starting off. Very well read. I'm going to swatch them on my hand again for you guys. This is the same kind of wand where it's like double ended and it's flat. This one is, these actually are really, really pretty because these ones you can wear on their own because they have a lot of pigment to them. So they're going to show. The next one is in the shade Raised on Good Corals. And this one is actually a really pretty lip topper if you're wearing, or if you like nude lipsticks. This is going to be a really pretty lip topper because it's just a soft peachy pink nude color. Well, coral, but it looks peachy pink. 
this one is actually the one that I'm using on top of Don't Be a Plum Plum. I remember that name. This one is in the shade Violet and Furs. And this one is just a really pretty deep purple. Like, I didn't think it was going to be this pigmented, but it's so pretty. And it goes well with Don't Be a Plum Plum. And then the last one for this collection is going to be Strawberries and Fami or Fame. And this one is just a light pink, baby pink, baby doll pink lip gloss. And this one too, if you like nude lipsticks or pink lipsticks, this is a pretty lip topper. Just because it's going to give you that like glossy effect. And it makes your lips look bigger, just so in case you didn't know. If you put lip gloss on top of lipstick, your lips look fuller. Oh, just kidding, there was one more. This one is in the shade Lilac Theater, and this one is a lilac shade. It's just very, very cool toned. And if you have Jeffree Star lipsticks, you could pair this with Virginity, because that's what it looks like to me, and it looks really pretty. Of course, though, be mindful that if you're wearing, like, a liquid lipstick, it's possible that it could break down the liquid lipstick just because it's a little bit more of a watery consistency. So, kind of like how this one is a little bit kind of like an ombre effect, it's just because it broke down what was, like, in the inner part of my mouth, and it's just staying on the outer rim. These are the Color Icon Loose Pigments. They are limited edition. I think they just dropped them. They should still be on the website um, if you can find them in your local Walgreens or CVS. They should be there. I only opened one because I didn't want to open all of them. But I have Dom and Cherry on top. This one is a light-esque, I would say champagne color. It's really, really pretty. And just so you know, you can use pigments as highlighter. You can use them as like a lip topper. You can use them for eyeshadow. You can use them for so many things. And it's really, really cool. I love pigments. I collect pigments. I have almost all of the NYX Ultra Pearl pigments. And I'm so excited that I got these because they're so pretty and they remind me of them. Um, this one is one that I actually opened and I want to show you guys this. This one is in the shade Right on My Copper. Or, nope, just kidding. That's not the one I opened. That one is in the shade Right on My Copper and it is a coppery-esque champagne color. It's just a little bit more darker. This one is the one that I opened and this one is in Heart of Rose Gold this one is a rose gold champagne color and the cool thing about this is that oh wet and wild so badass they have a stopper so normally when you have pigments they don't come with the stopper but it comes with like a little so you can see exactly how much product you pour out and then you can close this so that way if you drop it or it falls you're not spreading it out all over your like vanity or whatever you're using but that is what it looks like right there. This. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. You should see it. And then the last one that I have is called Kung Fu Lightning. And this one is very similar to Dom and Cherry on top. It's just this one's a little bit on the lighter side of this one. So if you are fair or like medium skin tone, you can totally pull this off as a highlighter or just like a solid eyeshadow. So that was all that came in this beautiful box. Um, like I said, this video is not meant to be braggy in any way, shape, or form. I'm just really excited that I was able to win this because I didn't think I was going to win. Um, and then it was really cool for them to actually give me more than what I was expecting. So thank you Wet n Wild. I appreciate this so much. Thank you for choosing me. And if you guys liked this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel down here. And if you want, you can hit the little like bell thing. It notifies you whenever I put a new video up. And what else? Oh, I don't know. Just like thank you guys for watching. And I don't know if you noticed this already, but I have changed my entire my entire channel. So, Steven Sabotage is no longer a thing anymore. He's dead. RIP to him. And welcome on an artistry because that is what I'm all about now. If you want, you can check out my Instagram, which will be um, in the description down below. I'll also put the name on the video. 
Um, and that's pretty much my new Instagram where I showcase all of the makeup that I do. I'm also going to put in little makeup tutorials and also some of the work that I've done. So that way you can see that. And yeah, pretty much that's it for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I love you guys and I will see you guys soon with another video. So till then, bye.